Higgs pledges HST cut? He pledged an HST... What? A re-elected PCMB government will lower the HST from 15% to 13%. Do you want to make life more affordable? Vote for the PCMB candidate in your riding this election. Oh, God. So... Uh, First of all, isn't New Brunswick broke? New Brunswick budget. Ontario's HST is 13%. Okay, so an HST... So I, Saskatchewan doesn't have an HST, so correct me if I'm wrong. HST is GST paired with PST, Correct. Am I correct on that front? Okay. So in Saskatchewan, we have seven and seven. So it's just 14%. I believe. I get my numbers wrong all the time. I never remember specific numbers. Six. See, I'm glad I checked it. Six and five. Okay, so I'm not crazy. So it's 11%. Or I was crazy. Oh, we have all the provinces. Look at this. Here we go. Retail Council of Canada. It's probably right. Five and five. Or five percent. So this this one always boggles my mind. Alberta has no PST. Like none. That fascinates me. Like they could they could do so much, but they refuse. Anyways, um so lowering that to 13%. I doubt it moves the needle very much. Main estimates. Here's what we want. Give me the numbers. Give me the bottom line, you buttheads. Okay, give me the simplified. I don't care about the budget, blah, blah, blah. I want to know if you had a deficit or a surplus, you butts. $41 million surplus. So a tiny surplus. Okay, so you're cutting a significant amount of revenue. Where's it going to come from, Blaine? Well, and so whenever a government makes a claim like this, this is always the question. You are already the government. You are the current maximum level of government. Why aren't you already doing it? Like, why not do it right now? <laughs> You're so desperate. Well, and Pierre zabub has got it exactly right. A surplus, but we got to go to Quebec City or Halifax for proper health care. There's your problem. What was cut to create the surplus? What's going to be cut to pay for the GST or the HST cut? But also, it's also really important to bear in mind that the government's relation to debt isn't quite as simple as like a credit card, right? A surplus means that the government is withdrawing money from the economy. Yeah, Killer Q, we talked about a little earlier. It's very sad. Um... But yeah, a surplus means that the government is withdrawing money from the economy to cover its own debts. That's what a surplus is. A deficit means that the government is issuing public debt, cheap debt, typically, to the public, which is essentially a, a cheap investment, right? Like, when you buy bonds, that's what you're buying. So those kind of need to exist to stabilize the economy. They're like an essential stabilizing tool for the economy. Um, Alexander Hamilton essentially came up with it in the Federalist Papers. Alexander Hamilton. And this is it, like a surplus, but teachers gotta buy their own chocks now. Right, like it's bonkers. 
I do like that the vast majority of folks aren't buying it. Right? And this is it. Like, whether you agree with monetary modern monetary theory or not, people who think... <laughs> this will make no difference. You see, like, the response is bad for them, man. <laughs> so yeah, in twenty in October of twenty twenty three, Blaine Higgs was forced to explain Friday why he's not rushing to implement new measures to help New Brunswickers cope with inflation. After saying Thursday he was holding up because of a potential election. Yeah, it's just so transparently vote buying. Like, come on, Blaine Higgs, if you're gonna try to get people to vote for you, do it with real ideas instead of just buy, bribing them with their own money. Do better. <laughs> 